what you guys today we're taking a look at the most common problems with windows updates this is the most common problems that i've seen that people have when they're updating windows now believe it or not windows is actually quite stable and windows gets a pretty bad name from uh, having issues with windows updates when a lot of these can be avoided and most of them are created by the user themselves so we're going to go through some of these in this video just to give you an understanding of what actually causes a lot of these problems. So first off, the hard drive that is full, not enough space to complete the update. I see this quite a lot. People have a very full drive, it's red, and they go ahead and start trying to roll out an update and it gets halfway through and then it has to roll back because... Uh, the drive is too full. This can cause major problems because during the rollback process, when Microsoft decide to roll your system back to a time when it was working before, something can go wrong. And this can happen quite a lot. So if you've got a full drive, don't do any updates. You need to clear some space from that drive. You can go straight into settings here, into system, and then go into storage, and you can clear off some of the old junk that you have on your PC. A lot of people keep loads of files in their download section and in the recycle bin, and they just don't empty it. And sometimes this can cause major problems. You can see apps that have not been used. You can also see uh, some other areas on the system which need to be cleared up, and I'll show you how to quickly do that. So if we click on the temporary files up here, you'll see download section has over 40 odd gigabytes of space in there. Also, we have Recycle Bin with quite a bit of space in there as well. So if you want to clear this out, this will be enough to allow you to roll out your update before you start the update. Make sure you keep enough space on your drive before you do any sort of major update, especially feature updates. I think Microsoft have changed the way they do this, and I don't think it'll lay to even start the process with a full drive if it's got no uh, room for a rollout of a, a new feature update. But just in case it does, then just be very careful when you're doing major big updates like that because things can go wrong and you can end up having to do a fresh install of Windows. So always keep plenty of space on your drive. Next, updating really old versions of Windows 10 to the latest version. I see this quite a lot. People will not update to the latest version. And then what happens is they get so far back that they're using, say, for instance, 1909 and they now want to go to 21H2. That's quite a big jump. So try to keep within at least one of the latest version. That way you're not gonna have major problems and it's still gonna be supported by Microsoft. Microsoft will start to cease support for certain older versions of Windows and that means you won't receive any security updates or any sort of feature updates in the future. So make sure that you keep within one at least of the latest version. You can check known issues and known notifications here on Microsoft's website. This will tell you whether there's any issues with updates and this is what can happen. People start to update, say for instance, 1909 to 21H1 and there may be an issue during that process and it may crash and you may have issues where it's just in a reboot loop and you can have major problems. Let's talk about the next one, using scripts tweaks and third-party programs on Windows. This is probably the most common problem that I see with Windows when people ask for help and support. They've either blocked Windows updates or they've been tweaking their system or they've been pausing updates by using software. They've then deleted this software and they can't remember what they've done and now they can't either update or they've broken it or they've removed parts of the Windows update from their system. Or maybe they've used a script to disable certain features, then they've run the Windows updates and Windows is trying to do an update and you can see it breaks the system. So you've got to be careful when using certain scripts and programs and other things to completely block certain features on Windows because when you choose to update and you've broken something, then what can happen is you can end up with a major problem. So just be careful with what you're doing on your system. Now, I know people like to pause updates and block updates and all these sorts of things. 
But then what can happen is when you just go to do something like this, it can break the system. So be very, very careful. Now, also blocking feature updates and other things like that. This is how uh, systems get so far behind with the updating system. And then when you go to do another update, because the system is so old and you're trying to jump quite a few different versions, this can also break the operating system and you may have to end up doing a fresh install. So be careful when you do that. So another thing I see, which is scripts, people running batch files and other types of scripts to delete and remove certain parts of Windows. And this can cause major problems with your system and make it unstable. Now, if you completely understand what scripts are and batch files are and what they are actually doing to your operating system and you want to continue to do that, then fine, carry on doing what you're doing. But don't run these things after watching some YouTube channel saying do this to your system and then you completely forget what you did previously to your PC and it's now removed bunches of stuff from your computer and now you can't even uh, get things installed onto your computer because it's removed certain stuff or broken certain stuff or disabled certain stuff. You need to be very careful on your PC when you're running things like this, especially if you don't understand what is happening here. You can see a bunch of stuff happening on the screen right now and it's impossible to know what that script is actually doing unless you know how to understand and read scripts and what they are actually doing to your PC. It's obviously renaming and deleting stuff and doing loads of different things inside the registry and other parts of the computer. So be very careful when you're doing this sort of thing to your PC because it can end up messing up the system and the only way to sometimes fix this is by doing a clean install of the operating system. Now, what I see a lot of people do is ask for help to get things working, and lo and behold, they've been messing around inside the registry. They've been messing around with scripts or programs, and they have no clue of what they've done, and now they want to rectify it all without reformatting the system and reinstalling Windows. Unfortunately, that is a real headache for a lot of people, especially for people trying to help you. It's very difficult to try and fix things that you have no clue of what they've done. There's thousands of different entries inside the registry that they could have been tweaking or tampering with using batch files and other things like this. So if you are going to be doing this, make a backup of your registry. Also make a restore point and also back up your data on a regular basis and understand what you're getting into when you do these things. Because when you start making changes like this to group policy editor or the registry or you're running scripts, you can run into issues. And this is probably one of the most common problems that I see with people. Uh, they will end up messing up their computer and they just can't get it working properly. They want to install something now, like say for instance, the Microsoft Windows Store and they just can't download an app or install it because they've broken something. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is stopping your Windows update during the update process. Now, this has gotten better over time where, uh, where Windows is being quite clever. Where If you full shut it down, it will actually start again and start the update process. Sometimes it will roll back and then try to update again. But sometimes you can break it, and you've got to be very careful because it could end up meaning that you'll have to reinstall windows so be careful if it says do not turn your pc off it means do not turn your pc off you may get a black screen after that point where it's doing some installations do not turn off your pc and become frustrated and impatient because this is what can break uh, the system itself and you could end up doing a clean install on your pc let's talk about the next one updating to the latest featured version of uh, windows now this could be a feature update or upgrade to the latest version of windows 10 say uh, and it will be the same thing for windows 11 as well now if you look at say version 1507 1607 uh, 1809 1909 2004 20h2 and 21 h1 and 21 h2 these are all feature updates now you will still receive security updates for the version that you're on so as long as you're within you know one of the latest version you can hold off a little while and just wait and to see if there's any major problems with that latest version 
that Microsoft release. The last thing you want to do is do a major feature update of your PC and there's a major issue and you're having issues like apps closing down or loss of internet or things like that. It could be any problem. So just wait a few weeks and see if there's any issues. You can always check Microsoft's website to see if there's any known issues. You can always look on YouTube to see if there's any problems and then decide when to roll out an update to the latest feature updates. You will still receive updates for that version that you are on. So don't rush to get the latest version all the time. Anyway, that is the most common problems you're going to get with Windows updates. Most of these are generated by yourself. If you follow these guidelines, you should have a lot of trouble-free computing with Windows 10 and Windows 11. You shouldn't have so many issues that you're having right now if you are following these guidelines. And the reason why I say that is because most people do love to tinker and they end up breaking their operating system most of the time and end up having to do a clean install of the operating system. So follow these guidelines and you shouldn't have so many issues. Now, that's not to say that you're not going to get the odd problem with certain updates. Every now and again, you do get that odd problem that you run into, but normally Microsoft are pretty quick to fix it. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.